Hey guys. What I have here is a Dell Wise Z90D7, ultra small device, which is mostly used as a terminal in big companies while cutting the budget. With use of the terminal you can run a single server and then just connect the terminal as a satellite device that uses server resources, while only maintaining network connection, USB devices and display. But of course this is not what we are going to use it for. We're looking for gaming abilities. This bad boy packs AMD G T56N dual core processor, 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM and integrated AMD Radeon HD 6320 GPU. In standard build you can find it with 4, 8 or 16 gigs of flash memory which only fits an operating system, which is Windows 7 embedded edition. I've swapped it for a 128GB GoodRAM CX400 SSD, while using Windows 10, 22H2 update. I'll prepare a separate episode showing how to optimize Windows 10 for WISE. But enough of the theory, let's jump to gaming performance. My Dell WISE has been through some minor changes, I'll talk about these during another occasion, but is prepared directly for gaming. I've prepared some tests, which will show us how this pocket size PC is handling games from different years. Let the benchmark games begin. The first thing I always do on my new setup is run a 3D Mark test, which will allow me to determine in the future whether the changes I've made have given me better performance. In this case I chose 3D Mark 05 and 3D Mark 11. This will test my ultra gaming hardware with DirectX 9 and DirectX 11. First, I ran the 3D Mark 05 test which after a few minutes gave me a final score of 3,965 3D Mark points. Not great, not terrible. Then it was time to launch 3D Mark 11. I must admit that the Dell really warmed up, temperature around 95 degrees Celsius, and after a painful stress test it finally showed me 546 points. So it's not that bad, I expected much worse. NFS Most Wanted is an absolute classic that once pushed graphics cards to the limit. However, in the case of Dell, I did not notice any problems and the game works really well. The Radeon HD 6320 graphics system allows for very smooth gameplay and I am wondering whether to do an FPS comparison test at different graphics settings in the future. I chose Splinter Cell Conviction as the representative of the game from 2010. The game runs on Unreal Engine 3, which is the basis for many other titles. If this works, many other games will too. Despite small cuts here and there, the game allows for quite comfortable gameplay. It took me a while to get used to the slightly slow aiming, but the game itself works great considering the hardware available. Another title to test is Life is Strange from 2015. Here we switch to the Frostbite engine, which uses DirectX 11. The game started without a problem and apart from minor cuts, I had no problems with playing the intro. After loading most elements of the location, even small scraps disappear. I also had the impression that the game worked better than Splinter Cell at times. Could it be better optimization? To sum up, I would like to say that for me it is almost amazing how much this equipment bought for a few dollars can do. The entire set, wise, monitor, keyboard and mouse, cost me less than $20 in total. Considering I can play every game from 1990 to 2010 on this, and many games from 2010 to 2020, I consider it a blessing. One big bow from me to wise and I can't wait to see what happens next. If you're wondering whether it's worth spending $10 to $15 on Dell Wise because you don't currently have a computer or laptop, but you want a machine to browse the web and play older games, I definitely give it my full recommendation. That's all for today, see you in the next videos. Bye.